Monday I posted a video about drilling curved holes and uh, I got a bunch of questions like why? <laughs> so I thought today I would answer that question. We're gonna drill some more curved holes. <laughs> sense I need to build a mock-up of an interior corner on the framing of a house like a new construction house for that I'm gonna need two by fours I got some Okay, so here's the whole curved hole cutter. Um, it sits on a pivot point and I just have some bent steel with a flex shaft uh, with a drill bit welded or a, a, a bit welded to the end of it. And hopefully when I hold this in place, it'll cut the hole properly. Now, with a proper uh, cutting head on here, which this is not, it just cobbled together, uh, you should be able to just hold this, you know, manually hold it in place and actuate it and then would cut the hole but because this is not a proper cutter and it's cutting really hard I'm gonna go ahead and add some screws for some extra holding power and then we'll give this thing a go see if I can find a spot without a knot in it that looks good all right let me grab a drill and throw it on here and see if this thing will work Well, we got half of a curved hole. Well, I was gonna go ahead and make another one and then go ahead and continue it, but I think it's important that you guys see this. You know, um, the way I had it set up before where the shaft wasn't attached to this round, I think it's probably gonna be the way to go. So it's not continually stressing it. I can actually just have a handle out here, push it in, and then let the flex shaft do whatever it's gonna do. And um, then it won't do that and I'm sure because I welded this and I was working around this area there it, it got hot and cooled down and got hot and cooled down that weakened the shaft here uh, but the theory is sound and I will go ahead and weld something else up and try it again if you saw my last video we had a complete success it went all the way through no trouble um, I did have a little bend in this section here um, I ordered some needle bearings uh, which is just a really thin thin bearing that I'll that I'll eventually put on here and try that but I'm um, you know it's working and I wanted to do this video to show you guys why a curved hole if you're an electrician and you're running wiring you know you can't get you know get out up past this to draw to drill an angled hole you have to drill a hole straight in from one side and then the other and then you're left with a 90 degree elbow that you got to fish wire through with a curved hole you can literally just push the wire through it and then you'd have absolutely no trouble feeding it through the corner. It wouldn't be hard to pull the extra wire through. Same with PEX tubing, you could just shove that in. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. And then, you know, uh, hopefully, I was hoping that it would go all the way through so I could demo that. But, you know, it's important that I think everybody sees the failures as, as, as well as the successes. Uh, so the next, uh, next test will be, and I probably won't do a video on that. I'll do a video when I have the design all finished sometime down the road. The next test will be to go ahead and run a whole bunch of uh, holes with just without having the flexed shaft fixed to the angle or to the arc here. Uh, just let it go freely with a handle out here like I did in the last video. And if you haven't seen the last video, we, uh, we cut a curved hole all the way through. It was a success, but I had a lot of questions about why, so I kind of wanted to answer that why this setup rather than just using a straight bit at an angle. And um, 
that's it guys so um we'll do an update on this in a few months down the road or whenever sometime down the road after i get this whole thing perfected but um it's possible to drill curved holes which will make it a lot nicer for electricians plumbers uh, cat five guys i think a proper drill head not just something cobbled together and uh, a few more experiments and we'll have this thing rocking and rolling and uh, make it easy to use thanks for watching y'all